Hi there, this is David, and GameStop is having a pretty big sale right now. I was just at the gym, and I was reading through Twitter between sets and stuff, and I saw a cheap-ass gamer going on and on and on about all these sales, and I'm like, what the is going on at GameStop? So I came home, and I looked, and they're doing Pro Week right now. So I thought that it might be fun to kind of go through all the games that they have, and just kind of like go shopping with you. And I did pull up some of the stuff that Cheap Ass Gamer has on their Twitter page just to show you some like the really good deals that they do have. Like Trinity Trigger, $25. This is the day one edition. Forspoken, $17.50. Tales of Arise, you know, that's getting that new DLC coming out really soon. Only $20. $10 for The World Ends With You, Neo. Who knew? Um, $18 for Persona 5 Royal, if you don't have that one physically. This one is a dungeon crawler that I heard fantastic things about. I haven't yet played it, but Taylor over at the gaming shelf was going on and on and on about this. He was raving about it. $25. I might pick this one up. Stranger of Paradise? $5? Like, really? Grim Grimoire, once more, $25. And this is the deluxe edition? So that's kind of crazy. Valkyrie Elysium, yeah, it blows, but it's $10. I mean, <laughs> come on. Stars of the Divine Force, which was amazing, also only $10. Mito Anomalies, which is pretty much like uh, Shin Megami Tensei Persona Light, also $10. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, $25. And I even saw Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes for only $15. So those are some of the highlights right there, but I thought that it would be good to kind of go through just the sale, and I put some filters on here so we don't have to go through like a million pages or anything. Um, I got down to about 17 pages, I'm not sure if we're going to be going through all of that, but I just want to show you what I'm looking at here. The systems that I own, PS4, PS5, Switch, RPG strategy, and then a price range 5 to $25, and it's bringing up some good, I mean look at this, Kingdom Hearts 3 for 4 Dollars, like oh my gosh, a uh, Scarlet Nexus, a fantastic action RPG, only ten dollars. Shimigami Tensei three remastered, ten dollars. Hills of Asteria, ten dollars. Skyrim, ten dollars. Yakuza Like a Dragon, one of my favorite games. Actually, it's a turn-based uh, RPG set in Japan with job classes and stuff. It's great, ten dollars. Like oh my gosh. Uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns is a strategy RPG with like the Marvel superheroes and all that. 25 bucks, can't go wrong there. Um, Indivisible, this was a, an indie action RPG, 10 bucks. Some of these I already have, some of these I'm definitely going to be picking up. I've got to say, Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know that Remake Part 2 is coming out soon. So if you didn't get the first one, you want to pick this up for $25. This Sword Art Online games, I've never really played, but for 10 bucks, I kind of want to try it out, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you really can't go wrong here. Uh, Shipping on me Tensei 5, $25. That is one of the most exclusive of the exclusives over on the Nintendo Switch. SMT is fantastic, and for 25 bucks, like, come on. Chris Tales, this sucked. They said that it was going to be like the second coming of Chrono Trigger, and it was complete dog shit, so <laughs> don't be fooled. Don't pick that one up. Don't do it. <laughs> this, look at this. This is Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix, only $15. The Diofield Chronicle, this is a real-time strategy game that came out whenever like a ton of other Square Enix games came out too. So it kind of got overshadowed, but this one is $25 as well. Um, getting these, a lot of these games I have digitally as well because I was provided like a key from the publisher. So I don't have it physically, but you know, I collect, so I like to get them physically. So, you know, it would be a good time for me to pick them up. Digimon Cyber Story, or uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete, which is two games in one, $20. Nino Kuni 2, only $6. Um, Trails of Cold Steel 3, you know that the remake of this is coming out soon, uh, or not the remake, I'm sorry, um, an enhanced port is coming out soon for the PS5, so you might want to wait on this one, but if you just want to pick it up on the cheap and you don't want to wait for it, $23! Like, you really can't go wrong. Nino Kuni 2, $20, it's not as good as the first game, but it's there for 
20 bucks. I mean, it, to say it's not as good as the first game isn't to say it's a bad game. It's just to say that the first game was just that good. If the HD remasters of 10 and 10 2, if for whatever reason you don't have this, I don't know why, only $18. Vesperia Definitive Edition, 25 bucks. Banner Soccer Trilogy, that is a trilogy of strategy RPG games with like a Vikings Valhalla Nordic theme thing going on. $20 right there. World of Final Fantasy, this is the limited edition, only $10. And yeah, it kind of got a bad rap because of its horrible voice acting and kind of chibi, weirdo, cartoony looking characters and stuff, but it's still a good game and I still did um, really enjoy that. Let's see what else we got going on here. Um, oh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. We know that Dragon's Dogma, that this is a sequel coming out to that, so if you never got around to Dark Arisen, now would be a time to pick that one up for $18. If you want to catch up on the Disgaea series, since 7 did just come out, and uh, if you want to, you know, check it out and see what the other games are like, you can pick up 6. 6 is probably the black sheep of the series. It was pretty terrible, but it is $25 if you want to grab that. 12, the Zodiac Age. That added job classes to Final Fantasy XII. And um, it just gave it like quality of life features and stuff and fast forward and things like that. It is a fantastic version. 15 bucks. Secret of Mana, one of my favorite games on the SNES. Um, comes in on the PS4 for $20 right there. Can't go wrong with that, I must say. Tales of Arise, only $13. Here's Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch, $25. Uh, here we're seeing some repeats like Yakuza Like a Dragon right again. Another Sword Art Online. Disgaea 5, $25. Um, not as good as the earlier Disgaea's, but better than Disgaea 6. So, <laughs> there is that. Code Vein. I hated this game, but if you want like an anime Dark Souls thing, then you might want to check it out. It's only $13. I don't think it's worth 13 cents myself, but you know, <laughs> different strokes for different folks, I guess. South Park Fractured Butthole. That is another South Park RPG, kind of in the same vein as Stick of Truth. I don't think it's as good as Stick of Truth, but it's there. 13 bucks. Dragon Quest Heroes. This is Dynasty Warriors meets uh, Dragon Quest. A lot of like tower defense sort of things going on there. Only $15. So if you love Dragon Quest like I do, you might want to grab that. I already have that physically though. You know what I'm saying? Shining Res Resonance. Refrain, another entry in the Shining series, $20 on sale. Dark Souls, I know there's a lot of fans of Dark Souls out there. I am not one of them, but if you are and you want to pick up Dark Souls 3, it's only $15 um, right there. Metal Max Xeno Reborn. This is a remake of Metal Max Xeno, which is like this post-apocalyptic desert landscape -y game where you get into tanks and you like blow up enemies in your tanks and everything it's a long running series and it's 25 dollars right there if you want to check that out undertale only 15 dollars although i think you could probably get that cheaper on steam digitally and i've seen this cheaper as well tells of versaria 20 dollars. i've seen that cheaper before i've got to say another sword art online game this is fatal bullet 13 dollars Star Ocean Integrity fake Faithlessness, $15, although I feel like I just saw... Oh, this is weird. So, it's $10 on the PS5, but over here, it is uh, $15 on the PS... Oh, no, 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 this is, this is Star Ocean 5. I'm sorry. So, Star Ocean 5... Okay, I was getting my Star Ocean confused. <laughs> this is Star Ocean 5, which is the worst Star Ocean out there. It is just terrible. Um, that being said, it's not worth full price. Is it worth $15? Maybe. I would say it's worth maybe $10. Starship 6, though, that's a steal. You definitely want to get that. You definitely want to get that. Trials of Mana, one of the best remakes I have ever played. It's a remake of Psychon Densetsu 3, which is Secret of Mana 3. Um, it is fantastic. Tons of replay value. Beautiful, beautiful game. I highly highly recommend trials of mana soul hackers 2 
not really a fan of. It's a spin-off of SMT and they just cheaped out on it. I did not like that at all. It's only 20 bucks though. If you are like a super fan of SMT or Persona and you do want to check it out, you can grab that. Dragon Quest Heroes 2, I felt was much better than Dragon Quest Heroes 1. Only $18. Same action RPG Musu Dynasty Warriors thing going on. Um, right there in Dragon Quest Heroes 2. I think it's like one of the best Dragon Quest games that nobody's really played. Dragon Quest Builders 2. This is kind of a take on Minecraft meets Dragon Quest meets the world of Dragon Warrior 2. It's really interesting and if that piques your interest then you might want to check that out. Valkyria Chronicles 4. This is a real-time strategy RPG taking place in kind of sort of maybe the real world world war one world war two era thing um but it's beautiful beautiful for only 18 dollars so you might want to look into some of those there's also tokyo xanadu ex plus only 25 dollars right there can't go wrong with that oh chrono cross the radical dreamers edition only 20 bucks i paid full price for that it's only 20 dollars I paid full price for that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. There's Tales of Vesperia again. $13. You ever get into some doubles here? Ooh! Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. I don't think that this is the S edition. This is just the normal edition for $15. The S edition gives um, an added 2D mode which is so cool and it's so useful and I love it and it makes me feel like I am back playing an SNES game it makes me feel like I'm back playing like Dragon Warrior you know four five six um that sort of thing and it is just so good so much fun and the cutscenes just fly by they go by at like the speed of light I have got to say I love Dragon Quest. Then there's Final Fantasy Type O HD for the PS4. I wanted to like this game more than I did. Like, I couldn't really get into it for whatever reason. Like, I felt like I would really like it, but I never really did. But for $15, I think I could learn to like it. <laughs> there's Akiba's Trip, Hellbound, and Debriefed. This is a weird one. It's like an action RPG where you, like, strip people down because they're vampires and then the sun, like, kills them so it's kind of like eh, pervy but it's it's fun you know it's as fun as an action rpg can be the story of seasons friends of mineral town this is the true successor to harvest moon if you are into those farming sims you know the comfy games those wholesome games things like that if you do like harvest moon you definitely might want to check that out right here oh child of light ultimate edition really only 20 dollars wow Okay, we're getting some DLC packs right now. Wargroove for the Switch, only $20. Valkyria Revolution, awesome, only $15 right there. Yeah, so another Harvest. Oh, this is not, this isn't the real Harvest Moon. They took over the Harvest Moon. It's the really story of season, the Harvest Moon. The Harvest Moon that we know now as Harvest Moon isn't really Harvest Moon. The story, <laughs> story of seasons is. It's kind of a weird thing to, um, to explain. But yeah, this one, if you want that, is only $25 right there. Astria Ascending. Um, that's a neat, neat, neat game. Beautiful game as well. Only $20 right there if you want to um, look into that one. So there are some fantastic deals here. I didn't want to do like going over a billion games here or anything, but I just wanted to go over and hit some of the high points and let y'all know that, yeah, there is a sale going on here. And there are plenty, plenty, plenty of good games that you can filter out and you can find. Yeah, as we get further into these pages, it gets kind of more weirdo as far as these games are concerned. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of hit the high points and let you know that there are some great games out there for this sale. And just keep y'all abreast of what is going on. And do let me know what games you are going to be picking up um, in this sale, which what you're going to be getting physically. I think it's very important to support physical gaming and as always have a good day